Leve Paris konferansında söyleşilerimize devam ediyoruz. Salonlardan bir tanesinde ülkelerin ya da kurumların startupları bir araya getirdiği ve tanıttığı standlar var. Bir tanesi bizim özellikle ilgimizi çekiyor. Arap dünyasındaki startupları bir araya toplayıp tanıtan ve Paris'te Leweb'de ilk kez stand açan MIT Enterprise Forum and the MIT Enterprise Forum Pan Arab Region Başkanı Hala Fadel ile birlikteyiz. Hello Hala, it's really nice to see you here and your stand here. Very nice to see you. Merhaba. Uh... Merhaba. Uh, first, let, let me start with MIT Enterprise Forum Pan Arab Region. Can you tell us a little bit about, about the entity? The, the MIT Enterprise Forum uh, is an initiative by MIT, the university, to promote um, entrepreneurship across the world. And we are the chapter that is focusing on the uh, Arab region to promote entrepreneurs uh, from the Arab region. Mm -hmm. And this is your first time in, in an international conference or only in Loeb Paris? Have you ever uh, joined any, any other? It's, uh, you're right, it is our first time in an international conference uh, and uh, the goal of it is to uh, help the entrepreneurs make connections uh, with international clients, investors, give them visibility, but also the other goal uh, is to a bit change the image of the Arab region uh, because it comes with lots of cliches that are not necessarily the right ones for entrepreneurs. Uh, people don't think of innovation or technology or startups when they think of the Arab region. They, they think maybe of the revolution and the instability, but we want to tell them there's another kind of revolution taking place at the moment in this region, and that's the entrepreneurship revolution. Okay, you're based in where? Uh, we're based in Beirut and Cairo, but uh, we cater for the entire Arab region. And I think actually uh, that there could be a lot of synergies between Turkey uh, and the Arab region in terms of collaboration between the entrepreneurs, because these are markets that are very similar in terms of their needs and the profile of their customers. Um, exactly. Actually, Arab world is increasingly in the radar of the Turkish investors lately. Uh, can you tell me your comments about uh, the entrepreneurship uh, across the Arab region or the ecosystems? Because five years ago, maybe we, we could have said nothing about uh, that um, scene, but now, can you compare? Yeah, well, we've been running the MIT Enterprise Forum for the past seven years, so we've seen the evolution and the pickup in the uh, ecosystem, the entrepreneurship ecosystem. Um, I think uh, it has evolved uh, positively, bringing uh, lots of people to the ecosystem, also because the startups and companies and the market opportunity is there now. We've just closed the panel at uh, Le Web. Uh, showing, uh, for example, U-Turn from Saudi Arabia, which is an um, entertainment channel with uh, uh, 400 million total views, 10 million unique uh, viewers on U-Turn. Uh, uh, Saudi Arabia being the number one user of YouTube as well. So these are statistics that people don't necessarily know for the Arab region. We also had uh, Anrami, uh, which is a music um, uh, application in the likes of uh, uh, Spotify or Deezer. And they have uh, exclusive rights for uh, Arabic music um, and uh, they, they have 4 million subscribers today. We had um, uh, Marka VIP, which is a leading e-commerce uh, company, uh, tapping onto a huge e-commerce opportunity in the Middle East. Uh, so I think the startups are here now, the market opportunity is there and there are many ways to make money in this space, which explains the pickup in the ecosystem. So uh, those uh, companies that you present here, uh, most of them must be profitable, right, at the moment? Uh, no, not all of them. I mean, some of them are still startups and uh, investing in, uh, in their concept, and some of them are profitable, so it's a mix of both. I see uh, the ones I know, I've heard, is Instabeat and Markavip. Uh, can you tell us a little about it? Yes, uh, so uh, Instabeat is a wearables uh, company. Uh, Hindah Bay'a, the entrepreneur behind it, who's actually a winner of the uh, MIT Arab Startup Competition. Uh, she's a swimmer and she realized that uh, uh, swimmers don't have many tools uh, when they swim, while runners have all these smart watches that give them their heartbeat, their speed. So she designed those smart goggles that while you're uh, swimming on your eye, inside the goggle, it gives you information about your speed, your heartbeat, and uh, all these type of smart information. And uh, she's doing international partnerships with the major sports companies to distribute her product. 
Uh, Marca VIP, as I just mentioned, is the number one online uh, uh, e-commerce company in the Middle East, uh, selling um, flash sales, doing mainly flash sales of uh, discounted brands, uh, and uh, has a huge pickup in the region. Uh, and uh, users in millions and sales in millions. Yeah. Do you have any figures about the overall uh, uh, figures about the internet economy in the Arab world? Um, I have figures about e-commerce, uh, for example. Uh, so the, um, the e-commerce, uh, the Middle East is actually the fastest growing e-commerce market in the world with 45% growth last year and the year before. Uh, and uh, the total market opportunity is around uh, uh, five to six billion today that is untapped. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I mean, internet penetration, for example, mobile penetration is the highest in the world in uh, uh, Dubai and in Qatar. Um, and uh, as I said before, YouTube is, uh, Saudi Arabia is the first user of YouTube. So I think we have interesting statistics to start uh, working on the region. Exactly, and it's a rising star, I believe. And I hope that uh, we will see you in the next Web Brothers Summit in Istanbul in next uh, September, maybe. Yes, I hope so. I missed uh, the last one, but I'd love to go to the next one. Okay, see you then. See you then.